What's up, everybody? You already know who it is. It's Drip. God, Daryl, and I'm back at you guys with another. Hey! Now, in today's video, I want to talk about something that is very controversial, and I just feel like I need to give my two cents on it. With that being said, let's switch over so we can see exactly what this video is going to be about today. Okay, guys, so we have switched over, and as you guys can see by the title, it says... First transgender athlete to win NCAA Women's Swimming Division Championship went from being ranked 462 in men's to first in women's. With that being said, let's take a look at this video and let's get to it. Let's full screen this. Let's turn this down a little bit. And let's watch the video. Leah, how did that performance measure up to your expectations coming into this meet tonight? I... I didn't have a whole lot of expectations for this meet. I was just happy to be here trying to race and compete as best as I could. You've undoubtedly been under the spotlight over the past few months. How have you been dealing with that and reasoning with everything? I try to ignore it as much as I can. I try to focus on my swimming, uh, what I need to do to get ready for my races, and just try to block out everything else. What did that race mean to you? It's, it means the world to, to be here, be with two of my best friends and teammates and be able to compete. Thank you for stopping by. So Against that lane line. She's having a great race here and she's going to get second. That will give her a lot of confidence. Remember, she's just a freshman. Leah Thomas pulling away over the final 150 meters. Had to work for it. She was pushed over the first 350 meters. Thomas wins the NCAA championship. Ended up very close for second with Wyatt taking it ahead of a late charge from Erica Sullivan in third. So there's your top two, Thomas on the right. Wyatt scoring an important 17 points for Virginia. All right, so first and foremost, before I even get to my thoughts, I want to send a message out to all the LGBTQ, you know, whatever, um, people, that I am not trying to offend anybody. I'm not trying to do anything like that. But come on now. We have taken this shit too far. Now, I do believe that everyone should be equal but at a, at the same time this is not equal in any way this is a man i know i know this person um leah thomas you know wants to be known as a woman but genetically he's a man and with that being said that makes it unequal for all the women who are actually participating in this tournament has this equal in any way if genetically this is a man? Genetically, this man can put on way more muscle than that than a woman. Genetically, this man has way higher testosterone levels in him than a woman. So that's not fair or equal in any way. And then to me, I just I just don't like it because it kind of seems like a an easy win it seems like an easy win and the reason i say that is because if you look at where he was ranked when he was in the men's division he was 462 he was ranked 462 so obviously when he was with the men he wasn't competitive let's keep it real he was not competitive at all so to me this feels like in way to easily get a championship easily get an accolade by going against the opposite sex and I, me personally i just don't like it because like i said man i believe that you know everyone has the right to um believe that they are whatever gender that they are they have a right to that you have a right to be gay you have the right to be um heterosexual it don't matter everyone has their preferences but at the same time it's levels to this shit and i feel like that we should not have no transgender men out here racing with women women who were born women we should not have a man who chose to be a woman 
racing with women who were who were born women. Like it's literally not fair. And that pretty much goes against the whole equal rights movement that the LGBT community and you know um women and everybody in general supports because it's not equal in any way me personally i feel like what they should do is they should make a third division we should have a men's division we should have a women's division and then we should have you know the um transgender division so that it would be fair and so that we would it would actually be you know some equality in it because let's be real let's be real if we take any woman that wants to be a man so a transgender woman if we pull any transgender woman and she race against the uh, men's division more than likely she will get destroyed let's keep it real and similar to this situation if we pull any transgender man to go over to the women's division more than likely he will destroy them similar to exactly what happened and like i said i just don't like it because it's not fair and you can just see in the pictures that the women who were racing they were obviously disappointed and felt that they pretty much got robbed and i'll just rewind it so we can see these pictures Let's rewind it a little bit. All right, so as you guys you. can see, let me pause that. As you guys can see, you can you can see the looks on these women's face, and just look at the stature of this man. Look at the stature of this man compared to these women. Yeah, any bro, any person over here trying to vouch and say this shit is fair, they're crazy. This man looks like he's at least like six two, six three. These women look like they five, I think number two, probably like around five, eight. Number three, probably around five, six, about 120, 130 pounds. This man like six, three, 200 pounds. Bro, has that fair in any way? And then another thing that I didn't really like is the comments that the person made. Like, I understand that it's, that you're proud to um, get this accomplishment because you are transgender, but at the same time, bro, you're a man. You knew that you knew that the competition would be easy. You knew that you would win this. Come on now, we gotta be serious. We gotta be serious. I know that this is this is the time where everybody gets offended and try to find something to feel offended about. But at the same time, we gotta be realistic out here. People. We really got to be realistic out here about this, bro. Like, this is not fair in any way. I think transgender people, they should make their own division. That would not bring any inequality or anything like that. It would just help make things more competitive because obviously this was not competitive at the least. And with that, I just want to go over his, listen to his comments one more time to examine them before I wrap this video up. All right, let's listen. Let me turn this up slightly. All right. Leah, how did that performance measure up to your expectations coming into this meet tonight? I, I didn't have a whole lot of expectations for this meet. I was just happy to be. Of course you didn't have too many expectations. You're a man, of course you were gonna win. Like it was nothing. It was literally nothing. It was easy money. It was easy money, but let's continue. Be here trying to race and compete as best as I could. You've undoubtedly been under the spotlight over the past few months. How have you been dealing with that and reasoning with everything? I try to ignore it as much as I can. I try to focus on my swimming, uh, what I need to do to get ready for my race. Okay, of course you've been under the spotlight. You're, you are a genetically born man racing with women who wouldn't have you un under the spotlight like it's not fair but let's continue this is and just try to block out everything else what did that race mean to you it's it means the world to to be here be with two of my best friends and teammates and be able to compete 
Thank you for stopping by. Thank you so much. Bro. Against that lane line. Come on, bro. How did that race mean a lot when you're racing against people you know you're going to win against? I don't get it, bro. I don't get it. But tell me what you women and men think about this video. Me personally, my thoughts is that they should make a third division for transgenders so that it can be more competitive because obviously from this video, we seen that with the men, with the people, he was genetically born the same as men. He was not competitive, but as soon as he switched over to the women's division, he dominated. So tell me what you guys think about this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on notifications. I hope this video was able to help you mentally, physically, or financially. And yeah, I'm out. Peace.